what's up guys Ryan here welcome back to the tutorial and today we're talking about more shadows but this time we're talking about how to export shadows with alpha channels uh, from after effects so if you do something in 3d and you want your uh, shadows your ambient occlusion and you want to render out a movie out of after effects with transparency let me show you a couple quick tricks to uh, help you do that and yeah let's dive right in all right cool so here's just a quick and dirty uh, scene that i set up it's just a still image with some 3d text from cinema 4d sit in and I also rendered out an object buffer, an aiming inclusion pass, and a shadow pass. So let me kind of show you uh, how I have this set up. And one of the things that comes up a lot is sometimes I'll be working with text and the client's like, oh, can I get just the text with transparency and no background now? So the first thing you'd think to do is turn this off and say, oh, okay. You know, the issue is these two layers are set to multiply. That's what takes the white out. And that's what, you know, makes the footage transparent underneath. If you don't have that, uh, you have a white background. So Let's, uh, let's focus on the shadows here real quick, and let me show you how you might want to do this. So here's our shadows on the ground. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an invert. So now we have black with white shadows, and this is, allows us to use uh, Red Giant's free plugin, Unmult. And what Unmult's going to do is uh, it's not going to look at your, your blending modes. It's going to take everything that's pure black, and it's going to make it transparent. So already we kind of have something uh, going on here. So with this already set up, let's uh, let's turn our background back on. And all right, our shadows are white, so we don't see anything. So let's go ahead and add another effect. I'm gonna add a tint to this. And instead of white, I'm gonna map it to the shadows that are kind of naturally happening in the background here. So I'm gonna color pick the shadows in the background here. And there we go, we have our shadows. And if I turn the background off, we have that, and we have the transparency. So uh, let's go ahead and turn that back off. In the ambient occlusion layer, we have the same sort of issue. So let's just go ahead and kind of add these same layers to our ambient occlusion. Paste those, and now we have transparency in our ambient occlusion. And if I turn my text back on, we have everything ready to go and set to render. So from here, you know, you can go ahead and just do your normal, uh, you know, animation with alpha or, or your codec of choice that has an alpha channel. So let me show you another example real quick that doesn't deal with 3D that, uh, that you know, kind of comes up and let's uh let's open up a new scene real fast all right so here's another example of a project that i'm most likely not supposed to show you guys <laughs> uh you might actually see it next month if you're kind of looking closely but um what we have here is we have this object rotating on green screen and the request is to key the green screen but you know we really want these shadows so it matches everything else so you know we got to uh we got to figure out how to get shadows with transparency again so let me go ahead and just shut this off and I'll, I'll sort of show you uh, the layers I worked with here. So the very first layer that I have is I focused on the key. And uh, what we have here is we, you know, we just have the object keyed out with no shadows. And I added another layer here. You might not be able to see it, but uh, it, it, it plugs some of the holes that the aggressive king, you know, created. And then on top of that, what I did is I focused on getting just the shadows. And, uh, you know, in the shadows, we kind of have our same process, you know, with tint levels, all that good stuff. You know, we, we got it to the point where we were able to invert it, use unmult to uh, key out the black. I rematched the shadows with the tint effect, and I gave it a little blur to kind of uh, smooth out some of the, uh, the jagginess. And when it's all said and done, we put everything back on top. We have an alpha channel underneath. And again, this is set up, ready to go, and render the client with alpha so he can put it into any background that he wants to match the rest of the edit. So there we go, guys. Another quick one uh, talking about shadows and transparency. Hope that uh, helps you guys out. And how I always add the, you know, in the stream, subscribe if you want to see more. Got another live stream this Sunday if you want to tune in, hang out, and uh, talk motion graphics. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. So have a great one.